Leo. Hi, Bill. The market is a mess again. You've got to fix it right now. This is urgent. Okay, I take the dozer blade and drive over. Leo, the road to the excavator's cow to sand. We need to clean it out with the dozer blade. Hi, Alex. I have just arrived at the market. If I don't get the raw materials back into the compartments, customers won't be able to drive through. Okay, come as soon as you get free. I hope he will be able to get out. So, I can try to push it with the bucket, but I need to drive closer to do it. Leo, your partner Bob got stuck while loading. I tried to pull him out, but nothing happened. I can't do it without you. I understand. I almost finished my work at the market, so I'll head over soon. By the way, I saw a rope in the garage. It may come in handy, so please take it with you. Sure thing. You're really stuck here. Yeah, you got that right. So let's think, what can we do to get him out of there? It's much harder to lift you off the ground with a full trailer. As for me, I will clear the exit from the quarry and tie the rope to the tractor. Okay. Let's go! A little more! Come on, come on, come on! I didn't think it was possible to get stuck in our quarry! Huh, I love your all-wheel drive tractor. We wouldn't have put out Bob without it. Suppose that now we should clear out the driveway, so you will be able to go back to work and I will make a circle and try to move all the sand aside. Leo, could you get some sand for me too, please? No problem. You guys acted like a real team. Well done. Thank you, Bill. Our company earned a lot of money thanks to hard work and making the right decisions. And it means that now we are ready to expand our car fleet. That's very good news. Trying something new is always a good option.
I want to add that our tractors performed well while working, because these are multifunctional machines. But we do have one major flaw. They're very low speed. Unfortunately, tractors aren't designed for long distance travel. As you know, the distance between the quarry and the storage and the market is rather large. That's why I made the decision to buy a truck. Moreover, you can buy not only standard trailers, but low frame trailers too, which are used to transport other big machines and goods. That's exactly what we need. The only question that remains is which one to pick. The first one is a mad truck, which was manufactured in 2012. It has been used very little, and that's why it's in very good condition. Its cost, together with that of the trailer, which is also in good condition, is $120,000. A truck with low mileage won't require frequent repairs. The second option is also a man, but it was made in 2007. It has high mileage, but the engine and the chassis are in good working condition, so you could immediately see that the machine was serviced on time. Moreover, this allows us to get two different trailers, including a low-frame trailer for just $120,000. Today, we waste a lot of time as the excavator makes its way to the quarry, so that trailer will be able to solve this problem. But these are very high risks due to the age and condition of the truck. It's no spring chicken. So, what should we buy, guys?